Hi guys, so there was a developer Q&A update released today, so I thought I'd make a video noting the important things from it. So we learned a few things about it. First, there are a few co-op dungeons that's already allowing for crossover queues, including a PvP mode apparently. They are also working on more modes to crossplay between different servers, and the ability to add friends from different servers. The important thing to take from this is that they also announced that they are working on a name change, gender change, and also, most important of all, the ability to switch servers. This means if you create a character on a different server and want to join other people from different servers, you can actually transfer your character to another server. So they're basically working on that, so hopefully we can see that change soon. These are all good quality of life updates that I'm sure will benefit a lot of you, so we can look forward to this. Also, if you guys didn't know already, the Mimic's passives currently applies only when you play them. If you guys didn't know already, the Mimic's passives currently applied only when you play them. For example, if you unlock Meryl's affinity points at 1200, Meryl will take a reduced ice damage by 20% and ignore some ice effects by monsters. These will only apply when you are playing as her. The good news is, the devs are working on making it so that the buffs can apply when you are playing as your main character that you created instead of a specific character to gain the passive bonus. There are also a lot of questions about the new limited banner, specifically for Claudia this time. People ask whether or not there will be reruns for these specific characters, and the devs responded by saying they are discussing about putting limited characters into standard banners in the future, after the banner ends or maybe after a certain amount of time. But right now, it's basically in the early phase and they're still discussing it, but this is a possibility that might happen in the future, who knows? People are also asking whether or not there will be new game modes and more guild activities to do. The devs responded that they are working on a new game mode right now, but did not reveal the details of it. Also, if you guys do Astral Exploration daily, you might have never gotten a 3 star portal before. A 3 star portal basically gives 4 drops instead of 2 drops in a 1 star portal. The devs said they are raising the chances of getting 3 star portals for all players, so I guess that's good news. Lastly, in a 2.0 update, whenever that is, there will be a new, bigger map prepared, so stay tuned for that. Well, these are basically all the important updates. If you guys want to see more in the latest Tower of Fantasy content, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel to not miss out. See you in the next video.